day great for little scientists. I'm Teacher V, your scientific buddy. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Do you know the major organs of your body? Do you know the function of each part? Let's find out! Let's learn together! For our quarter two week one, we will study the major body organs of a human body. We will describe the main function of the major organs and communicate that the major organs work together to make the body function properly. Bones are composed of rigid tissues that form the skeleton. Adults have 206 bones and babies have around 300 bones. Joints are areas where two bones meet. Most joints allow the body to perform various movements, while other joints, such as those in the skull, do not allow movement. Cartilage is soft, strong, and flexible tissue. It provides growth and most bones protect movable joints from wear and tear. Ligaments are fibrous tissue that connects bone to bone. Tendons are fibrous tissues that connect muscle to bone. The primary functions of bones are to give shape and support to the body, protect the internal organs like the brain, heart, lungs, liver, and reproductive organs. Some of the bones are sites where blood is produced. Bones with the skeletal muscle are also responsible for our movement. Muscles are composed of tough, elastic tissues characterized by their ability to contract. They can be classified into voluntary and involuntary. Voluntary muscles include all the muscles attached to the bones, specifically the skeletal muscles, that contract according to your will. Involuntary muscles contract periodically without your control, like the muscles in your heart, called the cardiac muscle, stomach and intestines, called the smooth muscles. The primary functions of muscles are responsible for movement, body posture, and heat production. Lungs are the respiratory organs that enable us to breathe through the process of respiration. It contains air sacs called alveoli, where the exchange of gases, the oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. The primary functions of the lungs are pulmonary ventilation, inhalation and exhalation called breathing. External respiration exchanges gases between the lungs and the bloodstream. Internal respiration exchanges gases between the bloodstream and body tissues. The brain is the most complex organ of the body. It controls all body activities. It has three main parts, the cerebellum, cerebrum, and brainstem. The cerebellum coordinates voluntary muscle movements and to maintain posture and balance. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It controls speech, thought, emotions, reading, writing, and learning. 
The brainstem controls the eye and mouth movements, relaying sensory messages, respirations, consciousness, cardiac function, involuntary muscle movements, sneezing, coughing, vomiting, and swallowing. The heart is a muscular organ about the size of your fist. The heart pumps blood throughout the body. There are four chambers of the heart. The right and left atria receives used blood from the tissues of the body. The right and left ventricles send fresh blood to the tissues of the body. Kidneys are pairs of bean-shaped organs responsible for the excretion of liquid waste called urine and regulation of salt and water in the blood. Nephrons are the functional unit of the kidney that contains the filtering unit called glomerulus. A single kidney contains 1 million nephrons. The stomach is a muscular J-shaped sac just beneath the diaphragm. The stomach secretes gastric juices containing hydrochloric acid and enzyme pepsin that continue the food digestion that started from the mouth. The primary functions of the stomach are temporary storage of food, mixing, and breakdown of food. Intestines are extended from the stomach to the anus. It has two parts, the small intestine and the large. Small intestines include the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. It's responsible for the digestion and absorption of nutrients. Large intestines consist of the colon, cecum, rectum, and anus. Its main function is to absorb the remaining water from the digested food and formation of feces from the undigested food which is later expelled out. We're done with our discussion today. It's challenge time! Describe the function of the following organ. Bones A. Responsible for the digestion and absorption of nutrients B. Responsible for the excretion of liquid waste C. Responsible in protecting the internal organs D. Responsible for heat production The correct answer is C. Responsible in protecting the internal organs. Amazing! Describe the function of the following organ. Stomach. A. Responsible for the temporary storage of food. B. Responsible for the excretion of liquid waste. C. Responsible in protecting the internal organs. D. Responsible for heat production. The correct answer is A. Responsible for the temporary storage of food. Great job! Describe the function of the following organ. Kidneys A. Responsible for the temporary storage of food B. Responsible for the excretion of liquid waste C. Responsible in controlling all body activities D. Responsible for heat production
The correct answer is B. Responsible for the excretion of liquid waste. You are correct. What is the function of the cerebrum? A. Controls speech, thought, emotions, reading, writing, and learning. B. Coordinates voluntary muscle movements. C. Controls the eye and mouth movements. D. Involuntary muscle movements. The correct answer is A. Controls speech, thought, emotions, reading, writing, and learning. Great job! What is the function of the heart? A. Enable us to breathe. B. Controls all body activities. C. Filter waste from the blood. D. Pumps blood throughout the body. The correct answer is D. Pumps blood throughout the body. Well done! Wow! We're done with our lesson today. Congratulations! See you next video!